County Central Crossing. Welcome to Monday, February 5th. I'm Sarah. And I'm Caitlin. So I was not expecting snow this morning. I'm anxious to know if we, it'll continue. What can you tell us, guys? Good morning, Central. It's Daisha. And it's Nathan. And we shouldn't be expecting to see some more snow later on tonight. But for today, the weather will be a high of 30 and a low of 23 and mostly cloudy. Lunch for today is Tony's Pizza, popcorn chicken with a roll, and cheeseburgers. With a side choice of mashed potatoes and gravy. Well, that's it for today. But wait, did you know when hippos are upset, they sweat red tears? That's weird. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. So Valentine's Day is coming up. And we have a perfect way for you to celebrate. Starting this Monday, you can order your carnation during lunch that will be delivered on Valentine's Day. They are only $1, and you can order three different colors, pink for your secret crush, white for a friend, or red for your love. Next, we have something fun coming up. Yes, we do. It's Penny Wars. Whoever collects the most money wins. Whoever collects the least amount of money gets duct taped to the pillar outside the gym. Penny Wars will continue until the Westland Home Boys Varsity Basketball Game on Friday, February 16th. All money collected goes to the Middle Ohio Food Bank. Help raise money for the Middle Ohio Food Bank and fill the jugs of the team. You don't want to see duct taped. Next, we have club news. Meeting tomorrow is handmade by me. They get together in the foods room after school. And then meeting Wednesday is Key Club. They also meet in the foods room after school. Ren Club meets this Thursday at 3.30 in room 209. Also meeting Thursday is Guitar Club. They meet at 3.30 in room 180. Meeting Friday is GSA in room 264. Now let's kick it to the locker room for sports. Good morning, Mr. Crossing. I'm Tyler. And I'm Jalen, and we have all your sports information. First up, we have some result news. The Swimmers had a great meet at Burlington on Saturday. Swimmers Will Atkins, Zach Fransteck, Sarah Pfeiffer, Madison Stutt, and Emma Thompson all set new personal records. A special congratulation goes to Zach Fransteck for winning the 500 freestyle and to Emma Thompson for setting a new school record in the 200 individual men's play. The Swimmers are back in action on Saturday at sectionals. Next, we have some baseball news. Baseball conditioning has started for those interested in playing this year. Conditioning is every Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 7, and on Fridays after school from 3.30 to 4.30 in the auction. If you are interested in playing baseball, you should attend these conditioning times. Baseball trials have begun on Monday, February 19th in the auction. The time has been to be determined. Anyone who wants to try out must turn in a physical and emergency medical card. If you have any questions, see Coach Dodd in room 545. And next we have track and field news. Do you think you're the fastest or that you can throw farther or jump higher than anyone at CCHS or in the Southwestern City School District? Who wants to know? Do you want to find out how good you can be? If you're not afraid and really want to know, join the track and field team. Practice begins on Monday, March 5th at 4 p.m. On Wednesday, February 7th, there will be a very important information meeting at 6.30 in the cafeteria for athletes and their parents to discuss the 2018 track and field season. If you're interested, be there. If you have any questions, please reach out to Coach Reggie Cannon, Coach Sarah Hall, or Coach Cody Kanda. And now here's what's going on this week. Tomorrow, boys basketball is at home against Reynoldsburg. Freshmen are at 4.30, JV at 6, and varsity at 7.30. This is a great opportunity to come and support our boys. On Wednesday, our gymnastic team is traveling to Dublin for a meet. On Thursday, our Special Olympics All-Stars have a game at 6.30 against New Albany. That's a home game, so come out and support our team. We also have an away game on Thursday. Our JV and varsity wrestlers are traveling to Westland. That's such an easy road trip. So get together with some friends and plan to come out and support our wrestling team. Now here's Kylie with Super Bowl news. Good morning, Central. I'm Kylie, and today I'm here to talk about this year's Super Bowl. As many of you know, the Philadelphia Eagles took home the win against New England Patriots. The ending score was 41-33. to One of the most unforgettable Super Bowls in history saw a Patriots' fourth quarter comeback, but it was the Eagles who scored the decisive touchdowns, tacked on a field goal, and came up with a huge strip sack of Tom Brady to put up the game out of reach. The Patriots were four and a half points favorite to beat the Eagles on Sunday. If they'd won, they would have walked away with the franchise's sixth Super Bowl championship. As much as I love watching the football, there are many things to put together to make the Super Bowl. The commercials, the halftime show, who's, and who sings the anthem, anthem is even a big deal. This year, Pink sang the anthem before she rooted on the Eagles. Justin Timberlake was the halftime show, and the Tide commercial is trending second on YouTube. Take a look. Yeah.
uh, just your typical Super Bowl car ad. Right? Or a hilarious beer ad. <laughs> or whatever ad this is. Whatever. But it's a Tide ad. What? It's a Tide ad. What makes it a Tide ad? There are no stains. Look at those clean clothes. What else would this be an ad for? Diamonds? A gift that lasts for a no. Tide. It's time for a cold refresh. No. <laughs> Tide ad. Fall into the sleep of no. you. No. Tide. No. Tide ad. Extreme. No. Tide. Tide! Meet the all new. No, it's a Tide ad. Tide. So, does this make every Super Bowl ad a Tide ad? I think it does. Watch and see. That was one of my favorites. Have a good one, Central. Back to you, Tyler and Jalen. Thanks, Kylie. Well, that's it for today. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, guys. As we get scheduling started, you have a few opportunities. Anyone interested in applying for next year's yearbook staff should pick up an application outside Miss Fuller's room, 225. They are due Friday, February 9th. And then if you want to be a part of our news team, see Miss Musi in room 170. Next, we have news from our counseling office. The deadline to turn in schedule change forms is tomorrow by 3.30. No forms will be accepted late. We have some college visits coming up. Today, we have Ohio Dominican University at 10 a.m. And then on February 16th, Ohio Christian University is coming to visit also at 10 a.m. If you want to sign up, visit your Naviance page. And now, if everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We say the pledge every Monday as a way to honor our country and sacrifices others have made so we can all enjoy the freedom that we have. Jesse and Zach will lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Zach and Jesse. Well, that's it for today. Have a great Monday. See you tomorrow, Central.